problems. 99 of them, bro. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Not Conscious, everybody. Once again. Episode 58.3-4 of the Articles of Confederation. Whatever it takes. Sir? Welcome once again. We're we're coming out. We're hi. Hola. We're backing out of. We're like beep beep. We're backing out of AI. We we we've now officially gotten out of AI, and instead of us putting ourselves into AI with programming, what if we just what if we just took all these things that were in here and went and just went pew, and just like uploaded it? Whoa! So we're going to talk about consciousness upload, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and sir. Notifications and everything. What made us think about this? You you brought this one to me, or I, brought this one to us. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you know, it was probably that stupid show I watched. <laughs> which one? Because you watch a lot of stupid shows, bro. I do. Oh God, I do too. I probably watch too much TV, man. I gotta turn that shit off. I think I know which show you're talking. It about. was probably upload on uh, the Amazon. Amazon Prime. Alexa, play upload on Amazon Prime. Biddling. I'm listening. Okay. Check <laughs> Check mark, check mark. No say. He, she's like, "What the fuck you talk about, them, Alexa?" I mean, hello. I no understand. I'm like Alexa. It's like nothing. You should see if she will speak Russian to you. I'm good. No, I don't even know Russian. So it really <laughs> check mark me. does. Check mark fakes it till he makes it, my friend. We're just gonna keep faking it until we make it. Okay. I'm gonna do this because I I gotta see a little more Billy. Okay. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. Okay. So, Conscious so, yeah. Upload. So, we Upload, watch a show on w- Amazon. Yeah. Tell us about it. What, it what's was it a, about? It was a good show, and it's a, it takes place in an alternate reality where once you die, your consciousness is uploaded to a virtual reality in afterlife, and it lasts forever, and you... You, the body you die in is the body you die in forever. So if you die at 30, that's the body you're uploaded in. 10 episodes, and then there's, it's a cast system. So depending on how much money you have is the afterlife you get to go to. So people are always talking about it. Oh, you get to go to Lakeview? That's so great. Oh, and then there's yeah. a whole company that, sells afterlifes and you have a customer service afterlife person and everything costs money so there's a mini bar in your afterlife suite and there's doritos and funyuns and fucking diet cokes and shit and they all cost Wait, money there are funyuns in the afterlife i i don't know because i am all about that so apparently checkmark is already signed up i want funyun please <laughs> i'm for to looking for funyuns in my afterlife uploads please <laughs> Irish last show was so serious. We got to have a little more fun with it. Yeah. So um, it was a good show. It, it, there was a, there was a guy. Agreed. Yeah. It was the point is the idea. The idea of the upload. And then there was another show on Netflix, Altered Carbon. Very different show. Dark and totally but, different on how. Correct. The upload happens. I mean, there's different ways. Correct. So, but it's the same concept where you die. And your consciousness can be taken, and they put it on a little disc, and you're stuck into different people, different human hosts. Yeah, in the back of the neck. Yeah. And but, also, yes. cast system, because the money you have is the sleeve. There you go. They sleeve, call it the yes, sleeve yes. of the, which is the body in which your upload, you know, that disc yes. goes in, you know, yes. fits or whatever. So it's the same concept, the same idea of a, of a, afterlife after your the human body you're born into dies so the idea that your afterlife is different that's the idea of upload of hey if this is a real possibility would checkmark consider that would checkmark like all ideas (laughs) hey that sounds like the worst idea in the world. What time you want me to? <laughs> That's what I say. Which Avenger would you like me to be? That's the worst idea ever. What time shall I be there? I will bring Funyuns. <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm going to reek of Funyuns by the time I'm 
Have you tried the new? There? Have you tried the spicy funyuns? The flaming yeah, hot they're funyuns? Pretty good. I was shocked at how much yeah. I like those. And there's a, there's like another one that's like a garlicky. I don't want to overstep the my next funyuns. episode of beer googles. We're gonna funyuns, funyuns, everyone. All We're gonna funyuns beer googles the all funyuns. the time. The googs. Um. So <laughs> I'm now <laughs> sideways. <laughs> I'm real quick. Yes. I'm just getting that one out of the way. Oh, Twitter world real quick. Hello, Twitter world real quick. Uh, I see them as such different concepts of uploads. Oh, because that's, one yeah. it's, they're not the same no, in the no. way that one is to your point. It's almost like it kind of combines the artificial intelligence because it, it gets your consciousness gets uploaded on this hard drive of some sort. It's a processor. Yeah. And that processor goes into another physical body yes. that lives a physical human experience with touch sense. Yes. Like a human extended. Yes. So it's really extended life. Yes. In a weird way. Yes. Whereas upload is all sensory, but it's all electronic. You are it's digitally virtual. not it's virtual right you're yes, not sir. in the physical world. i just wanted just yes. for people who haven't seen it yet of course just so we know that there's a distinction between those two things because it, they're great because i in my opinion we'll talk about the other stuff but god the idea it, the original objective concept is the same of continuing extending life exactly. by uploading some kind of consciousness Correct. digitally there's is a that, digital technological component to the extension of one's life is your correct is that after your physical body is gone your consciousness lives on in some way yes is that possible will that be possible when how that's a crazy idea it's crazy are there people working on that shit now? Yes. How? I have no idea. Right. How. But if I'm asking that question and I'm a lonely dude wearing a South Park shirt, <laughs> Timmy <laughs> and the Lords of the Underworld, Timmy, live it out. So, <laughs> you, to me, that's not, the, if we put a man on the moon, I love saying that, 50 years ago. I do that all the time. Real quick. Word. So I don't see how I don't see how people aren't already thinking of that. How do we capture the human consciousness? Right. Well, it's the other side of AI. It's instead of creating ground up intelligence from a digital code starting at nothing, right? To digitally encode what a feeling or an emotion is or what a reaction is or what a thought is like doing it that way versus we have that already here and getting it to a digital mode, like digitizing it like a photocopy or an up literal upload, right? It's into a hard drive. It's a much, they're two very different concepts in that way, right? They're, they're kind of opposite. Yes. One's creating artificially creating something that, mimics or is more advanced than our thought process and feelings or is us and one is us trying to extend us digitally though like it's like backwards like upset like a 180 from the other so anyway yes <laughs> yes alex that is my final answer uh to your you. diatribe Oh, sorry. No, that's so don't. But no, you're good, dude. So, with <laughs> that, what what intrigued you about just talking about this subject? Because um, there's a lot of ways we can go. With I it. find it fascinating that, given the where the human race is now, I keep hitting my head on the why well, boom mic. Don't ow. <laughs> See, don't do that. Don't you have cushions, bro? You're good. I know. I'm saying, just don't turn your head. You have more cushion for the pushing on your dome, dude. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> you sex motherfucker. Hello, lady world. Hello. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sidetrack. Yeah, right like, quick. I wasn't sure to kill and fuck. I wasn't sure where to go. <laughs> so, anyway. should we just play that one time? What's that called? Mary fuck kill. Should we do that? Oh, yeah. Sh uh, fuck, what? Mary, kill? Fuck, Mary, kill. Kiss, Mary, kill. What? Kiss, Mary, kill. Whatever one is. 
No. no. <laughs> That's the answer to that one. I don't need any intelligence, artificial or uploaded, None. to tell you no okay, just to that question. So um, it, it's fascinating to me that that the technology to do that may not be that far off in the near future. And the ability to have server farms just as far as the eye can see like if you drive from phoenix to las vegas you there's just desolation and there's these freaking those solar farms right you could just have server farms you could just have buildings of data centers with nothing but server farms holding consciousness of people that are are dead that are just living in virtual worlds and you spoke to um westworld in the previous podcast i did and that's kind of like how season two ended where the the oh. fucking spoiler oh fuck it's okay bro just i mean it. season um minus 17 no it's okay 44 years nah, ago I, no i should have watched it by now yeah. i apologize yeah. i haven't seen all of it it's I get stuck in in season one loop. It's hard to explain. I, dude, it's not gotta, bad. I dude, just, season three is, is. I know it looks amazing. It looks yeah, absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Anyway, <sighs> may I may I use? Oh, fuck yeah, dude! I can't I use believe a, I fucking blew the fucking show for you, dude. No, you didn't. I didn't hear a thing. Oh I don't my even God, know what dude. you said. You didn't. I have you to tell you something, it. dude. I, I love you. You love me. You love me. <sighs> Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's ah, son. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and Bruce Willis is dead. What? Um, I heard. Not like real, like now, like in real world, Twitter world. Uh, what were you we talking about? I thought I was, oh, uh, Isn't Don oh, Henley to dead use, to you or something? To use to use a Samuel Jackson phrase in a movie that I took on the one of the took on the island with me. My girlfriend doesn't like watching too much stuff about Westworld. So that pretty much makes me a guy that doesn't watch too much uh, stuff about Westworld. Okay. When do you I want, would you love, want to, I want to bring her into that. Why don't you just come to my house and we'll fucking binge the season, bro? I could totally watch it, but I I feel FOMO for her. FOMO that I shouldn't probably. Yeah, it's her it's it's her FOMO that I'm self What the fuck is FOMO? Fear of missing out, bro? Oh. I don't know what uh, that means, bro. It just means like fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. So like I don't want to watch it and have her not watch it with me cuz then she's not into the she's not in it or uh -huh. not on the same page with it but not it's probably stupid because we have very very different interests and just okay. fucking watch it i'm gonna watch Big it pussy. i have to watch it all the way from the beginning again and then that's, do what it. I, that's the thing i keep watching the first like three four episodes and i get bored with the first three episodes then watch number four okay hey. anyway for fuck Westworld it. feels like more AI than upload consciousness, but anyway, they upload a bunch of consciousness. Whoa! At the end of season fucking two, damn it! Into a server farm. That's the point. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. It well, they hurt. do it. They do it in upload. In my brain Amazon. hurts. We anyway, could just... I could just see the future being server farms. Yes, just buildings. Oh yeah, and then all these people never die. In a, that's not a correct statement, but they live forever virtually. And the only mm. reason they wouldn't they would die is if they lost if if they lost power and they weren't backed up somewhere on a different server farm or right. eventually are they backed up in space? Are they backed up on Mars? Are they These are a backup. Yeah, correct, which and if it was one fucking thing off, are you that person? Like if it was one like say you skip one fucking bit of data from the upload like is it exactly the same person right that one and are you perfect? like what's a bit like a bit is like a fucking letter right are you <laughs> but if it's a bit are you like of okay data. you're missing one hair oh yeah like a big right. fucking deal then you would never notice right what is the or, bit that's correct, missing correct yeah, or do you sorry, if, it's, if the bit the is else. you can't say l so all your l words are like uh, uh, you know what i mean like fied rice 
Maybe I shouldn't have used Epricon. the word. Maybe Epricons. I should. Epricons. Maybe, okay, so. I see Epricons. The, I, I'm with you. Your no, bit I'm, is an X, not an well, L. I was, I'm, okay. I'm so sorry. I was Xyl- way off. Xylophone. You can't say xylophone. <laughs> Fuck you. You can't say crossing either. Yes. Apparently. There's X-wing. no crossing. There's, There's no, no X Wing fighter. There's no X Wing fighter. You can't. You just say Shit. winged. Uh, I like no that wing plane. War, no Star Wars anymore. Yes. Anymore. Fuck Star Wars. So. I could imagine server farms with all yes. these consciousnesses. Yes. Conscious nigh. Yes. Cons, con, whatever the fuck. That's the point is that I, I, I don't see that as a far-fetched reality. Right. What if... Yes. Here's, here's an extension of that. Go. Your Meemaw goes away. Your Meemaw oh, passes. Meemaw, oh, really? Meemaw. I'd use already. Meemaw because of Sheldon. Oh, Sheldon. Oh, oh Shelly. <laughs> um, Meemaw goes away and we upload her. And we can communicate with her, right? In some kind of way where we put on visors and whatnot. And yes, VR. And she's like, oh my God, Sonny, this is the best place you could. I want you to go right now. Don't live your life. It's so much better. You have access to Egypt and and Stone and, 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 and Gobekli Tepe and everywhere else you want to be in the world. You don't need this. And I'm like, oh, Mima. Okay. Um, problem that does happen. It's a weird kind of suicide. <laughs> so like, yeah, I got nothing, yeah, man. I don't yeah, know no, that's that. that happens on the show, dude. Oh, d- well, does it? Yeah, went on on upload. Yeah, I don't remember that. Did you watch the whole thing? Yes. Oh sh- yes, yes. yes I, well, that's no a little, spoilers on the yeah, show, it, please. It, it was like, not that it was better world; it was so she could be with him. Correct. That's a but. but that's but what then, Mima just told Sheldon to do. No, she just said that the world is better Here. than the real world. Yes. yes, the world is better. Like you can experience more in this virtual world than you could ever physically experience in the real it's world. All the funyuns, and, and you don't get fat. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like everything at the touch of like. It's pretty fucking convenient. Yes, you're correct. Mo- different motives, same result. The blonde whore. Right, but different motive, same result. Yes. Kill, kill themselves to yes. not be in this world, to yes. contribute to this society energetically with this soul, right? The physical body, the yeah. biochemical yeah, thing yeah, that yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ball of meat. The meat yeah. ball. We are no, no ball of meat. Meatball's <laughs> different. Memphis meats. I keep saying this thing. I should get paid. You, yeah. We, we. One we should dollar, get paid in one meatball. One dollar per ball. I would like one meatball, Memphis. <laughs> it needs to be I'm like... Bet, I bet it's better in Nashville. I Shit. would concur. I, I don't know. Nashville Steakhouse is pretty good. I've been to one. You should get paid in... The I went meat- to that one that has a steak in the house. It's like a house steak. Steak okay. house. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that one. It was good. Okay. <laughs> you need a meatball the size of like a soccer ball. That's a spicy meatball. Hey. So, yeah. So... The motivation of leaving this world, yes. if you could be constantly uploaded to some kind of digital utopia, yes. would be very appealing to Absol- a lot of people who don't want to fucking be here. If anymore. you can afford it. If, in if that, you can afford but it. But let's just say that's... Let, Katy I mean, Perry d- can afford it. She was depressed. Oh, She's God. depressed, With bro. Katy Perry. She's depressed. Bro. Who's not depressed? But that's my point. You see what I'm saying is that's an easy way out. But... That would be. That, anyway. that, then that goes to your point that you made about Star Trek earlier on the other excuse me, episode, if it's a utopian society where everybody could upload, would you even want to be alive? Would you, wouldn't you just want to go to utopia and yeah. get off this shitty planet? Yeah. And not, because every time you stub your toe, you're like, motherfucker, why am I even here? Let's get off this rock. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a great question. So, I have a thought about it. Fuck yeah. I don't know if it's right or Tell good. Me. I keep hitting my fucking head on this fucking thing. It's Why don't really you fix it, dude? Because I'm broken. Not I'm it. Broken. I'm broken. That's a great fucking that song. That is a great fucking song. That is a really good song, too. Dear Pantera, can we please use your song, <laughs> I'm Broken? My dear, it's Pantera. All the podcasts. I would like to use love this love. Chrissy P. <laughs> and broken. I'm broken. I mean. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we this was gonna come up later but we might as well do it now Fuck the yeah. matrix the matrix right movie number one movie. on the deserted island because um 
you get up, you're, you basically get plugged in, right? You get jacked into this thing. And while you're being jacked in, you're also a battery. It's a, it's a symbiotic relationship, a right? A battery? A battery. Oh, I didn't know that it's was Metallica. A, oh, I had no idea. Thank, thank you. Um, Metallica guy. Ish. Go. Okay. Um, so the question is this then is like, well, we as a society cannot survive like as humanity, if we're all plugging into this fucking thing, but what if we signed a contract where we voluntarily become a power source when we're plugged in, oh. in this utopian world for a couple hours a day. And that's like, that's when we but can you just don't do whatever know you're plugged in. Oh, it's a good question. Oh, that's I mean, like tougher. Like, cause what's the name? Neo didn't know he was a battery right he was, he was born into that into right? the battery yeah you this would be a conscious decision oh. where you would say maybe like and i'm coming i'm coming up with a shit ton of really cool ideas today what if I you're like this, hey I take this dude i you give me four hours of door cell copper top time <laughs> I will throw you into this orgy where you don't even need to blow up a plane to get 72 virgins or whatever. I'm just going to throw you in like three virgins. And they're of legal age. Jeffrey. Are they like sex bots or are they like humans? They're, they're whatever you fucking... They can be fucking animals, I guess. It's a virtual. Oh, I'm not really into sheep, dude. Well, you, that's the point. They don't need to be. Okay, they can good. be whatever just you checking. want. Jesus. Well, they don't. it's not like they force the animal type on you. Because okay. then that would be like... That would be rape, bro. Well, yeah, what, what, what if the sheep wants to? Anim, animal sex. But you don't want to, man. Okay, and you sure. matter. Thank God. You matter, Thank right. the gods. Um, <laughs> but what are you like? Okay, so you give us four hours of door cell time. We'll give you, you know, you can upload into like a thing where you just kill everybody because you hate the world. Planet Doom. Right? Just fucking blo- like sociopathic gun toting nightmare dexter walk into a fucking nightclub and just shoot whoever the fuck you want or you have all the sex you want or you could have a four-hour therapy session or whatever and it's like a quid pro quo of the program to like you're offering yourself and as that they take your body heat and whatever as energy source for some other thing but yeah if we all wanted to fucking be there there wouldn't be humanity we couldn't do it you'd have to put laws in place that would not allow you like, if you upload prior to death, death, like within, you know, <laughs> not if you death, up, right, <laughs> but death, death. <laughs> well, like, you're near death, right? What if you're you on spent your, money, money. Well, let, how about this? You, you have didn't a, even get a kiss, kiss. You have a heart attack and they bring you back. I'm okay with you uploading right then and there, but you're kind of making that decision, right? And then you're, you're done. But you're a healthy 28 year old that just feels blue. Maybe you. This is not conscious. I'm not belittling mental health things. I want to be clear that I'm not. Of course. The blues are just, I'm trying to be, I don't know, glib about it, I guess. But, you know, you're not feeling great and you just want to leave and upload and be done with it. I don't, you'd have to find a way to prevent that because everybody would, a good percentage of people would be like, this experience is so real to me that, you know, if enough people told us how good it was that we have to leave. Okay, now I got you. If that makes sense. I yeah, don't, I, I understand. Don't know. I'm just talking in circles right now. No, no. My head hurts. Triangles. But yeah, so that would be a thing, right? Where if we decide to all upload, there would be no society to which we... Nobody would take care of the to, server farms. Right. No, there would be no one want to do anything. So it almost would have to be, if you're living, that you can... It'd be a getaway. If you choose, you can do it. Right. Yes. It'd be a cool and like a vacation. Energy. If it worked like the Matrix, like how fucking cool would that be? Is like, hey, your trip to virtual world, get you know, uh, just help the human race eliminate all fossil fuels. Like, how fucking cool would that be? You know what I mean? And like, or if like in our dream state, um, unless dreams actually matter with REM sleep, we need to have dreams. Yeah. Or something. In our dream, in our sleep state, we could just upload and create and and add to the energy or something in that way. I'm thinking Matrix style, right? Yeah. With the electrical right. pulses and the heat right. and all that shit. But just not a, the gross liquid that he was sleeping in. Yeah, that was so fucking grody. Yeah, I'm not okay with that. I don't want snot all over my fucking body. I got that, enough up in there. That was just not even. That was worse than snot, dude. It was enough in there. It was a scratch, or are you picking? I'm scratching. <laughs> it's a scratch. I don't know if that sounds Seinfeldian. It was very. Was Seinfeld. it AI Seinfeld? Like, 
It's a scratch. It was very good, Seinfeld. Excellent. Well played. So, so yeah, so I I wouldn't like this world has shitty smells in it and like literally shitty smells. I've driven through a field. <laughs> like I've also Have you ever been to JFK smells. Airport? I've made smells also. This world's harsh. If there was a way to just leave and just But there's amazing really cool, things here too, man. There are. But Have if you, you ever can... been on I-17 southbound when that bakery is making that oh, fresh yeah. baked bread, dude? Well, what if you can smell it? Oh, I believe fuck. that bakery makes uh, Corleone's rolls. Shut not, up. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think that's correct. Oh, dude, that I smell, man. It, you're right. God. But what if you could digitally have that smell whenever you want in just like a... A mister. If they could just pipe that into your battery, well, it doesn't need to be. It's all digital. Like I know. if everything's digital, like we, if you could recreate everything digitally, you could recreate everything here. That's the only reason to leave. Like only if it's that precise, right? Like it would have to be that. Like if if baked bread smelled like asshole <laughs> in the digi- in the upload world, I don't think I'd want that. But I'd if it if. Baked bread smells like baked bread. I, I'd want that. And I think I don't know what to go, where to go from there. I'm making notes. Stand by. Oh, excellent. So um, that's the question about that, right? You can upload. Now, once again, is the soul emergent <coughs> from our biochemical thing, from our biochemical properties? Is that what the soul is? Is it the... And the culmination, the, the equal sign, it's the... You mean when you die? Brain plus biochemical plus human plus evolution plus blah, blah, blah equals soul. Like, is that the equation? Because if you upload, if the soul's a separate entity, you can't upload the soul unless we can find it. Correct. So I wonder if we're able to find it at some point or if it just... Like I talk about emergent properties, the one I always use is temperature, for example, is an emergent property of molecules moving. So if I take a piece of metal and I go like this and I bend it back and forth, it gets hot. Mm -hmm. But the temperature is because of this. It's not the thing that causes that, right? Yeah. Is the soul the total of the cells and the, or is there another thing, right? Is really what the question is. I don't, I don't think we, the human race knows that yet. Whether we are not. Yeah. Or that, or what's your opinion on it? Though? Well, there's like three points to that question. My opinion is, I don't think that when you, when a human being dies, I don't think that what, whatever word you want to use, soul, spirit, whatever term is suitable to your belief system. May I make a broad term? Oh, fuck yeah. I speak of the vessel. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the occupant. Sure. Fuck yeah. All that shit. So the whatever, occupant of the vessel. Yeah, yeah. That stuff. So I don't think, well, I think when the, when the, when the human body passes away, I don't think the soul is there anymore. And I don't think... But you think there is something that leaves? Yes. Is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So it is your opinion... Y- yes. ...that there is a thing that escapes the physical vessel once the vessel is no longer functioning. Correct. And I don't think... I don't think there will ever be a way to capture that. I thought, I, I watched the show upload a month ago, whatever. And I thought, wow, they, on the show, they, the, the presumption is they found a way to capture the consciousness. That's right. Cause it is the guy's personality. Right. And, all the other and I'm like, oh, they found a way to capture the consciousness. So I thought it was a, 
it's everything. It's your soul. It's your con- it's your memories. It's everything about uh, the per- all the people. There was a whole shitload of people that went to this virtual world and they all interacted. Oh, when did you die? How did you die? And they all became friends and shit. And they all went to breakfast together and crap. And I, but just this week I thought, wait a minute. And this is stupid that I'm having these conversations with myself. I thought it's not really the consciousness of the person. It's a digital copy. They, and that's where I thought, the human race is going. They're trying to make a digital copy of a human's, I don't even want to say consciousness or soul. I want to say like their makeup. So if let's say they want to make a copy of checkmark, they'll go, okay, these get on this Xerox machine and lower your pants in the office party. (laughs) And then you make Xerox copies of your bare buttocks. Yes. You get a little bit of sack, a little bit of taint. Boom. I thought to looking for butt hair. Oh, look, he sounds a copy. Oh, there you go. There's the butt hair. There's a copy. Anyway. Good. So Sorry. there so there's check marks, memories, his his behavior patterns. Uh identical, like a like to your point, a but copy. It of. is a digital copy, which is then uploaded onto a computer and stuck into a virtual world. It's not his soul it's not his essence it's exactly it's not his essence and that's where the gap is so yeah it's what if you can make a clone of yourself and transfer the information to the clone that has all your biochemical properties and all of your other properties do you think that the soul still is its own thing. Yep. That's all I'm asking. I'm I not, do. I, I don't think you can transfer a soul. Right. It's cert it would cert I would certainly argue that if there wasn't a soul that left an entity at its the vessel's existence stopping, that no one could recreate that. Agreed. That said, well, I think we'll destroy ourselves as a human species before we get to the possible technology of doing that. We also didn't recreate fire. We also didn't have a, we didn't fly for thousands of, you know, tens of thousands of years. Of right? course. We didn't have any of these technologies. Who's to say, right? I'm just to play devil's advocate. What if there's a, we have psychics. What if they are found to be true? Right. Obviously, we've talked about our experiences and whatnot. And I have, I'm, I vacillate on whether we are a soul or whether we don't because I've had past lives in different bodies and experienced different things, right? In my memories. But, um, what if we, what if it's, I don't know the best way to say it. Um, what was I, what were we talking about? <laughs> Shit. Fuck, dude. I got to stop smoking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't smoke, ladies and gentlemen. No, uh, uh, we're, shit. Uh, uploads. Uh, shit. Oh, the essence. The ve- the, the <sighs> occupant of the vessel, right? Yes. We're talking about the essence of the person. Now, is if it's a separate thing, maybe they can take a picture of that and make a copy of that at some point. The technology could get to that point. Couldn't we get there? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's possible, right? Uh, uh, of course, anything's possible. Right. I would think that's less likely, right? It I would, seems... yeah, yeah. However, this is where I it gets weird. Is like the soul. How many souls are there? Does the does the birth of a child mean a soul enters it? In are the... there souls floating around there, extra lying around? You know what I mean? Like yeah, it opens up I a mean, whole bunch. Yeah, of Yeah, it's a about... huge can of worms yeah. because the, in theory, I mean, there's seven billion people alive right now, right? Right. So and and, and it's been and it's way more than it used to be. Yeah, which that's exactly where I was going. So does that mean, you know, we've the, the that means it, if you go down that line of questioning, mm-hmm. we've killed millions of dinosaurs. So that means. The dinosaurs had souls, and then then the baby being born right at this moment used to be a saber toothed tiger. Did I just? I thought I threw my pen at you. Sorry. Does does 
do things without sentience? Do all creatures have a soul is what I'm asking well, you. Well, that's... In your opinion. Do you know what I mean? Because we talk about reincarnation. Like, there's concepts yeah. like reincarnation yeah, where you come back as a cricket. that's kind of what I was shit, thinking. Right? So, it is my opinion. I would agree with you that every entity has an essence of some sort. I just don't know what the fuck I could call it. Yeah, I... Like, I would the soul of your fly, if you were a fly, if you were reincarnated as a fly, then died, but did a good thing as a fly, and then got reincarnated, is that soul enough to fill a human body, for example? Why or is there a storage, is there, an, a, is there a spatial, spiritual upload area also for our souls? Like, there's a server farm in fucking the planet sky? Rigoron 3. Rigoron? It's just some fucking essence collector or whatever, right? Like, could that... Couldn't that be that our soul where it's a physical manifestation of the server farm? I understand what you're saying. What are it's your a soul on farm? I, I don't I don't see why a fly I just to put you on the spot, I'm sorry. I don't give a shit. You do all the fucking time. I don't see why excuse me. I shouldn't have brought the fucking seven. I don't up. know why I swallowed a fly, I guess I'll die. Yeah. I don't see why a fly can't be reincarnated as a Ardvark, and then Ardvark is reincarnated as a lion, and the lion is reincarnated back as a fly. Okay. I mean, I'm just curious at this, like, because the logic in me, I, I yeah, get, of course. I get impossibly logical at times. Is a soul like the fucking head of a pin, or is it your fucking essence? And if yeah, it's I your don't... essence, and there's bigger, bigger personalities than you that your soul's occupied before is your soul enough to fill it i understand or is it overflowed if it goes into like a fly that's really on instinct right because it doesn't work on consciousness but is the soul really is the soul a... due to the consciousness of the individual right but is the soul really a size right that's the that question is just, yeah I, I like fuck dude who the fuck knows that answer? but i would guess the essence of a fly is smaller than the essence of an I, elephant i understand and even the essence of an elephant is differently stronger, maybe physically stronger in some way, than us, where we're more... Of course. I, I, I understand I, what you're saying. It sounds weird. I totally understand what you're saying. Hello, Twitter world. Do you have any idea what the fuck we're talking about? No. <laughs> I'm lost. But I'm with you. I, I, I get what you're saying. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that. I, I'm sure many people have an opinion... And I'm sure many people of faith have an opinion and they'll go, oh no, you, you know, they'll fucking be strongly worded that we're full of shit and we're, oh, you're, the devil is tempting you. And May I share an opinion? Fuck yeah. Our souls, individual, our, our individual, every soul, yes. in my opinion, is X. It's this entity, whatever this entity is. As it gets poured into different Vessels, yeah. depending on the needs of the vessel, like we're conscious beings, so we would have to have more soul than a fly who works only on instinct, right? Flies don't think about whether they're doing right or wrong, good or bad. So the soul needed for the fly is not as large as the soul needed for the human who has consciousness and makes decisions and has guilt and all these other things. Yeah. That's my opinion. Okay. And I feel like there is almost like a server farm up there and it only allows the amount needed for each thing. And the reason I think that, and it's fucking ridiculous, is my friend, J I'm just going to call him Jay. Okay. He passed away in August of 2017. He killed himself. Um, he had a little too much poured into him. It felt like that. Like the, the vessel couldn't handle the amount of essence that was like, they just measured, they just mismeasured by like just enough to break the brain, right? The brain can only can, you know, it handles X amount. We talk about 10% of our brain being used. What if the rest is soul storage or some other fucking thing, right? We don't even know. Right. So it was that that makes me go along those lines. It's just so a radical fucking concept, right? Cause, cause I've had personal experiences in different, bodies and different i've had a non-corporeal experience i've had an alien experience a different race species whatever in in like past life regressions and whatnot so take it worth a grain of salt whatever but what i've experienced was like yeah i could see 
my friend Jay just got certain things that were above what we should know and it fucking broke them. And it's like when they fucking poured in the soul, they're like, oops, oh shit, fucking spilled out. You know what I mean? Like, almost like it's a cake, like they're baking cakes up there. So I'm curious if that's how anyone else thinks because it's a fucking weird way to think. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. So... I just feel like our vessel can only handle so much. And if it's too much, that's where we get schisms and breaks. And we can talk about it in some weird way here. But why do those happen? Like, yeah. Let's be honest. Why do, why do people have fucking psychotic breaks? Like, yeah. What causes those? We don't really know. Or do you think that that's it's just as good leads answer. to, um, mental illness, right? Oh, well, all mental, like, You've seen on the light rail, someone holding their ears and talking to themselves. Yeah. It's my opinion that they're actually talking to something and someone. It's there. They, to them, for yeah, sure. Yeah. But I actually believe that they, it's my opinion that they're already, they're picking up, they've got more antenna than us. They're just picking up different signals. So when they hear voices, are the voices too much? Like that break, right? Yeah. What caused that? Could it be too much soul in that human body at birth? I don't know. I mean, obviously traumatic events can cause breaks. We know that, but not every mentally challenged person has had a traumatic experience. Not, not everyone. It's not been that way. Obviously patient zero didn't right. Like patient zero of mental problems didn't have, didn't create a traumatic experience or something like that. Right. There had to be a start to it. Yeah. Like people who don't, who feel depressed, the, you had to have a person that felt depressed first. Right. Or at least diagnosed it. Maybe we've all felt a certain way until we like acknowledge it or something. But anyway, so I have no idea what the fuck I was saying there too. I feel like this one's going awry. I think it's me. I think it's more like a wheat than a rye. Skin, I, you took the bread. You <laughs> right stole the, my mouth. You stole the fucking bread, dude. <laughs> you stole the bread. I right love out of bread. My mouth. I do love bread too. Pasta. You know that's a band. Bread. Yeah. Oh shit. I didn't know that. Mary loves bread. She goes, that's a band. I was like, no fucking way. Like 20, eh, 18 years ago, she goes, I love bread. I was like, where are they at? It's like a 70s classic rock band. I know like vanilla, whatever that one. Play the funky music. Cherry, vanilla cherry, cherry <laughs> vanilla, Coke. I don't fucking know. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So back on. Uh, Fuck, dude. I know we fucked this one up. That's, all right, that's all I me. don't mind, dude. That's me. Upload okay. consciousness. So we're back on it. So what are your thoughts about that, though? Which about fucking part? The part about. The soul being X and every Too entity much? getting only being able, should only be able to hold a certain amount of that. And the rest is some kind of weirdly stored up there. Um, I've obviously never heard that theory before, but I don't. No one has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, how do you get a grant for that? <laughs> you, you have to email them. Email grant. Excuse, Mr. Dear Grant, Dear Grant, I am far too looking for a soul is only measured in certain size animal in essence. Please respond accordingly. Thank at, you. At checkmark slash knockedconscious.com. Checkmark. <laughs> Certified checkmark. Uh, I, th I, I think your theory holds water. I don't think that that's... It's that, not improbable. Or it's, I don't it's think possible. It's, I don't think that's that far fetched of an idea. I, I, how do you? There's so many things in the human mind that no one understands. Yeah. Why? Just in the fact that people or people, neurologists and other smart doctors say we only understand ten percent of the brain. You went to college for fucking nine years. You only understand ten percent. Why don't you fucking stay in school? How is it? I, I don't know that answer. Why are you looking at me? I didn't go to school for that. It was though. rhetorical question, sir. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just the tip of the iceberg regarding the understanding of the human condition. You know, there's, 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 there's psychiatrists with PH with, with that are doctors. No shit. That's redundantly <laughs> redundant. Excuse me. <laughs> um, that practice for 40 years that don't fully understand why humans do what humans do. Right. 
that and humans that have mental breaks and just like you said and those schisms and and that have it's so interesting they have multiple mental you know whether it's bipolar or or obviously you know did you name it manic depressive or what I mean, imagine did what's that uh, disassociative oh, identity shit. disorder just multiple personality yeah it's, it's no the new shit, thing it's dude. did's like the new multiple personality have you seen the have you ever seen the united states of Tara? For example, no, it was a Showtime show. I think it's on like Hulu or something now. It's it's, it's interesting. Um, have you seen the show Atypical? No, on Netflix like with the kid with autism. I, I I, I'm curious. I, I just thought I'd ask, bro. <laughs> anyway, the person has DID, and maybe those personalities that come out are other souls or other fucking channels or or is that a defense mechanism for the trauma that for, they experience? Yeah, for them to protect themselves. It could be both, and it could be either. It could be either. I mean. <laughs> they speak of psychopathy to be like a uh, cause, like Ted Kaczynski was created, Ted Bundy was created, right? Like, but there had to be one psychopath that it wasn't a thing, so it wasn't a created thing. Like, you know what I mean? Well, don't you think the first psychopath was created by his parents? Could have, but could it just have been born a born mental? For yeah. lack of a better term, defect. I'm, I don't no, know I, what another way to say. Yeah, it, no, that's I understand. A mental defect that just turns off that feeling part, right? Like, it just allows you to be like, oh, yeah. You mean a chemical, like, some, yeah, the, the two yeah. parents had a certain chemical makeup. The data. Which created right. the chemical makeup of the child where they were unfeeling. Right. Or is a mutation during birth. I mean, we yeah, have mutations right. that change eye color and hair color. Right, and right. Whatever, right? Like, the, the difference between a man and a woman is not until that protein time that, ting, it explains why... The fluidity happens to be there, like in that respect, because it you have to actually be made a man, correct? I think it's, I believe, it's XX, and then the Y that has to break off to become XY. I believe that's right. Right, so we're all female, so it would make sense that there's a higher proportion of that protein not activating when it needs to. I'd never leave the house. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm curious how big my boobs would be. Huge. Honestly, would they fucking double? D's, I mean, I've got man. eight cups now, bro. You'd be like double D. Yeah, bro. but I think I'd have this, and I wouldn't be like hot to myself. Just wear like a little, pull the dress up. <laughs> the path word is sideways. Nipple. The password is tangent. tangent. The path word is tangent. So let's get it back on yes, track. Let's get back on, my track. dude. Sorry, my friend. So I have three more points to this disaster well <laughs> it's actually been pretty entertaining for it's me. been yes it's literally reverse ai like can you make a digital copy and if the copy is exact does that equal and to your opinion currently as we're speaking is no a digital copy is not is not as clear thing. as the original bro well it's a copy right unless it's a picture of but if it's identical off the copy machine but if it's identical how is it not because of the, the soul? Same? Right. I'm just being clear about where our stance is, right? Yes, like sir. we are saying that a we you and is, I it is your thought, and I'm in accordance with that idea for sure, that the soul is an essential component to complete the picture of being able to be uploaded. Because an exact duplication of you is impossible currently, or in your opinion. Because you don't have the soul. Even the soul in the future, there, right. I have a hard time believing that the human race will be able to make an identical copy. Or, and copy is not even the right word. An ex you see my point. I'm going to shut up. No, I'm with you. Please. It is. I, I don't mean, think it's cause, possible. Right, because you're, you're stating that the soul so unique. Each soul is unique to the point where that can't be copied. I don't think it's something that can ever be fully understood. Right. Because the human is so complex. We are very complex. We're fucking dumb. But if the soul's emergent, making an exact copy with the biomechanical chemical bullshit... If we could make an exact clone, basically, that clone, if we can copy it, should, it could be the emergent, like the soul's the emergent property of 
all of its combined experiences. Right. And I just had a thought, what about in the future, some fucking smart fucking guy creates a, let's just say it, a tube and they stick a guy in the tube when the guy's dying and they can somehow see the soul leaving and they can capture it capture inside it like the a, tube. Like the uh, Ghostbusters of Slimer. But different. Fucking, like, just like Slimer, thing. but totally different. <laughs> totally different. Well, not Slime. Wow. You're my I'm with you. And, I, and it's both of our opinions that there's something else that's outside of the physical copy of us. Correct. That's, I believe we're both on that. I think we're both on that same page. Yeah. Yeah, there's something. I don't know what it is, and some people call it a soul. Some people call it this. Right, right. and there's different words, right. and they're all basically the same. I, I, yeah, and the experiences that I've had are very unique in the fact that I've had things where my quote-unquote soul, in my opinion, was in other places in other bodies. So it, it makes sense to me that that's the thing that's the difference. Jace. Anyway, next point. So yeah, next point. The uh, people that are already freezing their body parts, like one of the greatest ball players of all time, Ted. I forget his last name. Williams. Ted Williams from. I was going to say the racist Williams. The but. Boston Red Sox, uh, who is currently. Why they got to be red, bro? The the re the Sox. Thank of you. Boston. Thank you. I'm so sorry well, for the red. Um, hello, Washington. NFL much? Oh my god. The Red Sox. God forbid I talk about their socks. Bitches. So anyway, his head is frozen. Not 20 miles from here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Let's take a road trip. Road trip. Let's I believe it's called not conscious on the road. <laughs> Knocked road. <laughs> Can we so, get? Do you think we get an interview? Maybe we can go in there and like. Uh, hello, Ted. Do you have no? Anything? Not talk to Ted, but I'm oh, saying like to shit. the people that are freezing heads. Like, oh. excuse me, person freezing Ted's head. What does Ted like to eat on Saturdays? Oh, he's frozen. Oh, never mind. He like. Does he like beef and broccoli? He he likes Stouffer's frozen. Does he like? <laughs> does he like the Stouffer's broccoli? Does he like? Oh, I bet he likes the frozen lasagna. Oh, the fucking yeah. family meal. Yes. Fuck yes. So do you have to feed it to him? Oh, you, you do. He doesn't have any hands. Okay. okay so Ted races Williams oh, is dude. less than 20 miles away from here. And his head's frozen only. It's not even his body. It's, it's literally just his, his head. head cut correct? Off. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Are you Googling it? I'm Googling a different Googling thing. It? No, we're okay. going to. So anyway, the else. question is, um, I, it, somebody also told me that um, Walt Disney's frozen too. I'm looking that one up because okay. I said that so to you. So the question is that if, if, if and when. Ted Williams gets defrosted, unfrozen, something. Um, by the way, fuck you for watching Vanilla Sky, you cocksucker. That one actually made sense at the end. No, fuck that movie. I get that also, but it made sense in the end. Tom Cruise was frozen? Fuck off. He's fucking dead, bro. Fuck you. Or he had a choice to, to leave or not. I think, wasn't that? I don't care anymore. <laughs> Well, frogs were not raining. I, I know that. It's raining frogs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyway, Ted Williams is I frozen you, very close to here. Now, may I just say how much I love you? I and I'm not going to say it any in any speed. I'm just going to say it. Okay. I'm not going to say it fake nor real nor quick nor slow. I'm just going to say it. Okay. I love you, bro. Love you too. Okay. So Ted Williams, who hit over 400 in a season, which has never been done again, uh, is his dome is frozen very close to here. And if and when he's thought out and plugged back in and booted up or whatever terms you want to use for any of that shit. Yeah. Let's say he actually bats his eyes and, uh, hello. Uh, and he says, he says the N word. <laughs> let's say, bro, let's say he's, that is so oh, wrong. Fuck. Let's say he's not a racist, bro. Okay. God damn. He got woke while he was, frozen. let's just say he goes, Oh, good morning. Uh, where am I? Where's my bat? Where's my bat? What year is it? Have the Red so have the Sox of Boston won, won a World Series since yet? Since Babe Ruth was traded away. There they away. go. Yeah, they've won two or three or whatever the fuck it's yeah, been. Three, I, I think. Yeah, I think so. They've won three then. Oh my God, that's a, they beat the Dodgers. Well, fuck them. So. <laughs> but they cheated. Oh, fuck. This so is anyway. Good. So, um. Will Ted Williams 
because his soul's gone. If there is a soul or whatever word you want to use again, will he be a zombie? That's not the right word. Not zombie like walking dead, but if it's just his head and he's plugged in or whatever, or booted up or plugged into a computer or attached to a body or whatever technology is available in five, 10 or 20 years. I'm being very vague here. What's going to happen to Ted Sox Williams? Go. Well, the (laughs) first, The first problem is that the entire body wasn't frozen. If it's just the head, there's a problem. Why? What if there is one fucking cell in the left toenail? Mm-hmm. Yes. And I'm sorry, the third piggy of the left nail in the feet. The fits. The footsies. That is the linchpin of all fucking pieces that ties the whole body together. It's like the grounding wire of the soul. Like it, what if like uh, the like or something? What if we didn't know that? You just need one cell to not be right for it to not be him. So we boot him up and nothing happens. Is his nervous system attached? Like, what if one little piece of nerves ending that might have some memory? There might be memory stored in the RNA, DNA, or the of the something of somewhere cord. Or something, right? Though that data is gone. Data. Oh, I just like data. saying it wrong. No, data. Data, data is also correct. Data, Actually, data. it's contextual. Contextual? May I ask you a question? No. Go ahead. Damn it. Uh, fuck. Go ahead. I, I just did, so I guess it's okay. May I ask you two <laughs> questions? No. <sighs> you can ask three so questions. Close. Okay, cool. So, yes. Pirates of the... The ride. Pirates of the... Caribbean. You're a fucking liar. You're welcome. <laughs> You're a liar, you fucker. Is it? No. Okay, so what is it? Pirates of the... How many questions? That's your third question. No, no, I'm not. Yes. It's the same question repeated. No, so it doesn't because count. you asked a middle question in between. Oh, you said, is it? Ha ha <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you. You tricky bastard. You son of a bitch. Um, but when you take a trip to the... Caribbean. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I win! I win! Because you lie. I win! Because you lie. Because yeah. it's... You ride the Pirates of the Caribbean, but you take a trip to the Caribbean. Uh, not only did I ride it, but I lied. You lied it? I lied twice to all your questions, Your Honor. What's did, your point? What does this got to do with the head of Ted Williams? It wasn't. It was just contextual about what we talked oh, about. Oh, data and data. Data and data. It was, it, was a, it was a tangent, my friend. Oh, uh, well played. Right. Data and data, I, in my opinion, is also contextual. Are just like and Caribbean and Caribbean. Are dumb and stupid. Uh, I'm both. Both of them. Both. Both. Of both them. of them. Both. B O F E. Both. U V V E M. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> All right. So Ted Williams' head plugs in. I believe it's be zombie. Boom, Chapter stop. seven. Ted Williams' head. Um. Yeah. That it's missing the entire body makes no sense to me. I don't know why you would just detach the head, other than it being some kind of cost saving measure. The dude was loaded. Right. That's my point. Walt Disney's head allegedly was frozen or his body. I don't, I'm, I'm finding conflicting. I need to say Allegedly it. his head. I'll say allegedly, but allegedly. if it's just the head, that makes no sense why you would just do the head. Because I, I, would you think that the humans that cut his head off at the time go, well, the brain's in there and that's where all the smart stuff is. Yes. So that's, we just need to keep his brain. Correct. That's what they did. They did. I don't think they understood the nervous system and how it all interacts at that point. What was this? 1920? 21? I don't fucking know. He, Ted was he Williams, in the 40s, 50s? What no, was, Ted Williams was like 80, dude, when he I died. Don't, no, what was Walt his Disney, year? What year did he, what year did, was he frozen? Walt, Walt Disney or Ted, Ted Williams? Ted Williams. Ted Williams. Was he, was that recent? Yeah, no. Oh, uh, it was recent. It was like, it was probably around 2000. Okay. Because he was. But, okay, Walt Disney Walt was dead Disney, a much, a lot earlier. Like, it's, he died in the 60s. Right, if they froze that, his head, if they froze just that, like, that makes no sense either. Like, they might not have understood some things that you would have understood by the time Ted, Ted Williams' head was frozen. But maybe, how about this for a theory? They probably watched Vanilla Sky. No, he signed a contract for his head, never went back to go, oh, shit, I want the body. And he died before he updated his, yeah. his frozen will. Frozen head will. His cryo will, as it were. <laughs> right? What do you think? 
Hello, Twitter world. What do you think? Don't forget to update your uh, cryo wills, everybody. Cryo wills. Make sure you include the body because that one le- third piggy, that one cell in the left toe of the third piggy, that one's, that you know, one's the ground. This one. <laughs> yes, that one. The, the, you know, That's the ground. Don't give people the... Don't seriously, give them- what the fuck? What if it... If- that is it like there's one what if it's a floating fucking one like the soul's like the head of a pin and it's just running through your bloodstream all the time we don't know and we don't fucking know and we take off the wrong piece or we whatever like or weird i don't know that, stupid. Weird. that was stupid that was dumb all right what, what about ted now what are your thoughts on it what do you, what do you um, think of ted zombie i think he's zombie gonna head. be a zombie what like in what would he just react so, uh, because somehow, if you think about it logically, you you would need an electrical impulse to get his brain to wake up, right? That's part of the process, yeah. So reanimation, you, reanimation. Um, you 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 have to wake it up, right? And continue. Well, first going. you got to put it in the microwave and hit defrost. And you have to keep going. Don't hit popcorn or potato. No, you gotta not. Hit, you got to hit defrost. Power three. Power level power three. Power three. Bring it up slow. Level. You know, make sure slow there's no metal. Up. Don't put it in aluminum foil. No foil. Because then, yeah, no, no, foil no foil over there. So, <laughs> make sure there's no conspiracy theories in Ted's dome. <laughs> keep going. I'm, I'm just fucking around with the camera. Um, now. I'm just being ridiculous. Yes. And then. You, you dethaw it. And then you, well, it has, and it needs a constant in, input of electrical impulse correct? yes it's so there needs to be almost like a heartbeat or so you know const a generation force of power and then i don't know what they would do would you would, how do you turn the frequency what's the frequency for the heart versus the whatever fuck, what's the this and that, and that yeah what are the electro impulses if you do too much do the circuits fry does the fucking does the fuse blow like how it it seems ridiculous to me I don't even know, and I'm not trying to be judgmental. So what's I don't even point, understand. Like, what's the original end game of Ted Williams? Hey, this is what I want to do. <laughs> this is what I want to do, okay? Bro, Ted when Williams I, is a fucking partier. I want to, when I die, <laughs> cut my head off. And reattach it to a zombie body. Like, what's... Okay. <laughs> like, wake me up. Not before you go-go. Wake me up once <laughs> there's enough resources to bring me back. Wake me up. <laughs> when you can reattach me to a body. No, like, no, I'm, like really. Right, what's, what's the original end game? The illusion of being immortal? Yeah. Wake me up in 2040. But that's the illusion of being immortal. He's never gone if he's still there. I, n- I know it sounds like a, yeah, such that's a fucking totally, stupid... It's totally true, dude. Stu- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, totally true. Right, but you realize like what that means in a stupid. existential way, not yes. in a physical... Like, yes. He's physically here, he's physically not gone. No, I get that, but like... If his head's always frozen. He's not dead. He's never gone. Correct. Because you can always go, 20 years, Ted froze his head 20 years ago today. Ted Brilliant froze his head 50 years ago today. He'll always be in the news in a weird fucking twisted way. Yep. Unless and until they can fix it. Now, I believe my understanding was, in Walt Disney's case, did he die of cancer? I don't know. Or something? Sure. I don't want to. This is where I hate hate talking about this stuff that I'm really outside of my breadth and depth because I don't want to slander and get fucking sued for no reason. So I'm we, not going to talk about it. We don't know what Disney. happened. Sure. Right. But I would guess that some people had illnesses that from which they died and had their body frozen. So they would be frozen. Oh, they get the illness cured. Yeah. And then be woken up again somehow. Yeah. I just don't know but how But in theory, possible. you can do that. If you keep the whole body... In you, theory, yeah. You can be like if you're frozen in a lake. Correct. It's because, extended. Correct. Right. That's that's a that, Right. There's a reanimation. There's a it's almost like a what's that called? Stasis in it. Sure. Like, in a weird way. But y- your point about Ted not being gone goes to my next point. Very nice transition. Unknown unbeknownst to you. I know nothing. You I don't. really don't. Is I it? literally know nothing. <laughs> 
like, have you heard any of these Twitter world? <laughs> <laughs> is the um, the the survival instinct of the human being where my pen keeps falling apart and I'm done with it. How are you going to hold this oh, pen shit, in your hand? I just broke the closet. Excuse me. So oh, <laughs> the survival mechanism, the survival instinct of the human yes. being going kind of going back to the original idea of the upload TV show where if you, even if your physical body dies, your consciousness or whatever you want to call that, your is, copy, your, yeah, your copy is uploaded to a virtual infinity. So technically you're alive forever. Right. So you really, you think you, you think you are alive on that server farm. That's my word. Not well, you, you know, you're dead. Right, you know you're you're but conscious you're alive. of your current existence in the world, yeah. but you are not lacking experience. You, well, you're not. You're conscious of the fact you're not in the world. You're conscious right. of the fact that right. you died, right. and you're, you're fact, physically, yeah, you're physical. But you form, still can feel like you think correct. you know the impulses are there. All you the, know you're dead. You know yeah. you're you're alive in a non real world. Right. That you're a computer simulation. You're aware of that. Yes. But you can still feel and All breathe and fucking have sex and have breakfast. Yes. And have steaks. Cipher. Yeah. Cipher. Cipher so steak, you. Yeah. So where does this? Where does the survival instinct in the human being? fit into that so let's just say in the future that the upload to a server farm is capable where does does the common human do they want to do they want to survive so bad that they're gonna want to be uploaded so bad because they don't want to die because they think that that is surviving that's part of their survival instinct that's not instinct. Survival instinct is fight or flight. It is just that immediate. In, it's literally an instinct. It's not a conscious thought. This is a conscious legacy ego thing. Okay. Right? So in my opinion. Okay. Let me just say only my opinion because once again, we I know nothing. But it's my opinion that the ego is what drives that legacy aspect. That's the infinite life. Well, they don't want to die. Right. Nobody wants to die. Nobody. Most people. But the the survival instinct is usually like something springs out at you. How do you react to like survive? But even. But legacy is different, right? Like, let's be honest. Our president has children to whom he, they get all of the wealth and everything he's garnered. Correct? Yes. That is legacy. That is ego driven, right? And if you can continue your own legacy. By uploading yourself, that is a conscious, ego-driven, not survival instinct. It's beyond. It's the survival of the ego, which is something that we have that many that we that kind of comes with consciousness, doesn't it? Like the ego, the id, those other mental concepts that we have. Okay. Like, yes. If someone asks you, "Would you like to live forever?" I guess the immediate answer is. Oh yeah, it'd be great, but not for legacy's sake, right? Like it'd be more like I just want to be alive. I don't want to not be alive. But you don't really know about that part. The instinct, it, but it becomes this is like, how do I continue my life even after my physical? That's now ego. Now you're like seeing how you can manipulate the world because of how you feel about it versus an instinct to stay alive. Does that make sense? I see your point. I I don't know. So that's, just, I just feel like that's ego driven, right? So like our consciousness, we should, we as a creature maybe should be conscious enough to go like all life has a beginning and all life has an end. And when it begins and when it ends are not necessarily predetermined per se, but they're all within the algorithm of the quantum world that is the universe. I don't know another way to say it without bringing in like, conscious beings like gods and whatnot but everything has energy everything's connected if it all came if the big bang was the start everyone's connected to everything right mm -hmm. so when something ends we we it's just the natural end yeah a car accident tragic but 
maybe that's just how, that's that was the time for that was the time and the place in this time and place in some other place it didn't happen we just don't understand that part of it either but our continuing to exist isn't i don't think it's as much of a survival instinct as much as ego driven like i want to be important or i want to matter because we talk about purpose and without purpose humans are very lost and i think that is an ego thing not a result of our chemistry the way our chemistry makeup is like it's not an animal instinct yeah you know what i mean like i don't think a dog goes dog marks its territory to warn you that it's like i'm here yeah that's their territory but it's not ego driven that's it's instinct. A, it's an instinct was like your smell isn't welcome here yeah right ours is different i think i think we're beyond that instinct we're to the point where like i want to mean something in a thousand years yeah right well yeah so that's where that question comes in so the what here's a question on a side thing if i may what if you forced really smart people to upload and use their brain power like like you know Einstein's going. You're like, you steal Einstein's fucking soul and you up or whatever. You steal Einstein and upload him to your personal whatever to utilize the brain power of Einstein after after his physical demise. Mm -hmm. Like, what about that? Like, how weird would that be? Like, slavery wise. Yeah, that, that's labor. exactly the word I was thinking. It's interesting. That's. What if you had to upload upload it against your will? Like you have, you're gonna have to have an upload will, right? You're yeah. gonna it's like a living will, but for uploads. Like once the physical, I do not want to be uploaded into, right? Just yeah. like I don't want to stay on a machine. That was on the show. Oh, yeah. There was a character who did That's not right. wish to be uploaded. That's right. Yeah, but they can say they can just not do it, right? What I find interesting is I like the altered carbon version so much better. It was very different. Very different. The problem with the altered carbon version is that it does real damage to the... Well, it continues... <sighs> Babies keep getting born. There would be a population problem, I would think, with altered carbon. Right? There'd be so many souls because every birth would have a new chip, right? Yeah. Because you, you can have children, I would guess, and then they would have... Or is it like a fixed system? I don't know the rules right here, sir. Right, but you understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. If they don't procreate and everyone's just kind of fit, like it's 2025 and everyone can upload and then we're stuck with the people we have and then you can go in different physical bodies or whatever versus I can upload as me and have sex with another sleeve and create another life that now has a new one that needs to be uploaded. Wouldn't we have a population problem? Yeah. But not everybody can afford the sleeves either. So there wasn't as much because didn't they get put in like stacks? Like yes. they got uploaded in like a virtual world until they could go into yes. like a body. So did you see season two? Yeah. No, I watched. I heard it's not as good. I lost it after one. One was really good, but it got just at the end, just got a little. I don't even remember. I, I don't want to rewatch it. So no, it's, it's a little slow, but it, it's really neat. I liked one. But I don't remember I like how it ended or, you know. It was very interesting. But it did very much play into the, also the kind of the PEDs we talk about. We talk about AI, who can afford it, right? And same thing with fucking uploading. Like, who can afford it? Yeah. So who does it really benefit? It's the not rich. for the world. No. It's for who can afford it. It's the rich. So let's take a step back and go, this fucking concept should be a natural monopoly. Or Like it a utility. It needs to be like the internet that needs to be free. Anyway. Yeah. Should it be a concept at all? Make it illegal? Or how about we don't even fucking do it? Um, we're humans, bro. Everybody does bro. something. Somebody's researching this. I know. Regardless of like whether they should or shouldn't, right? Like, let's be honest. So do we make it illegal? Or, you know... There's definitely people wanting to do this and trying to do this. I'm, I can't imagine them not. Because they're going to make money off the rich. Could be, but it could be just like, holy fuck, this is just, I woke up and I saw this thing and how it's mapped and I could save the world. Some people do good things for good reasons. I mean, imagine having 
the entire population of all humanity uploaded into this place that's free of the traumas that we experience and the triggers we experience. And we all, there's like a, it's like a choir and they're all singing in harmony. Like how beautiful would that feel? Like you, that's where you'd feel humanity. Wouldn't that be cool that you could upload into a place that you felt that way and then got re downloaded into your original body. And that would like, like that would be your therapy. Yeah. You felt peace. Right. Imagine that like therapy yeah. sessions, like you could temporarily upload, get fixed, Not whatever word you want to use, whatever word you want to use, come back and be a better human. That'd be fucking cool. That'd be a great way to use it. We wouldn't though. We'd use it for sex bots or some fucking bullshit. Yeah, we'd fuck use it yeah, sex bots. We'd use it for wars and whatever. Wars. Be like, oh shit! I'll just fucking make clone fucking stronger dudes. I'll make clone Swedes. Yeah. Rich. Sweet, 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 sweet. sweet, sweet. Uh, I disagree with you about the ego and the id. I believe that that the human survival mechanism is so overwhelming that people will do whatever it takes to survive. That, okay. that people will scratch and claw, but only in the face of death. Correct. They'll go, oh God, I'm 80 and I, uh, okay, I have, I see. I have Your three deathbed breaths is the same left. As the faith Please of that. Okay. Uh, upload me. Right. Yeah, I could see. Okay, that makes that's a good I, point. I, and Very and good then point. they're 37 and they're 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 in a car accident. Oh, uh, upload me. You right. know what I mean? was taking it from a totally different angle. I was so, taking it from the in the face of death, as in like immediate threat, danger, death. The instant kicks in. But yes, on your dying breath, you'd want to you want your life preserved as yeah, well. You, it you, would be instinctual. You, you, you're you never, correct. You never. I redact everything I no, said. Twitter you world. You have very good. No, you're right. Your you, your points are very valid. Well, thank you. But, but I appreciate what you said. The there. survival mechanism and the survival instincts of human beings, I think, are so strong. If if the if if the ability to to extend their lives is there, right? They that they will grasp and reach for anything. Yeah, that's because a good point. It, we're, humans are weak. You know what I mean? So, um, you actually go ahead. You had something you want to No, add? I was saying that's a really good point about that for sure. But I think it's almost like, do you want to live on or not? Cause yeah. this is your last moment. Like yes or no. Yeah. 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 And that instinct, you're correct. That instinct. I'm thinking even when you're 30 and you're planning. Oh yeah. Life, if you like, have a will, you're already thinking, because remember, at this point, you're saving up for this fucking thing. Right. It's like college. You got to fucking save up. Make payments. To shit. Right. You got to fucking make prepayments, obviously. <laughs> right. So there's a fund, right? So you have to actually plan that. That's where I think Legacy Knee goes like, well, I want my life to extend even at 30, yeah. not knowing when I'm going to die regardless. But yes, you're yes or no. People are going to say yes. Yeah. Because it's just... Unless they're in so much pain, for right, example. Right. But if you it to virtually end, right? upload, right, But you're no saying pain. I can make your pain. Right. I know. I know. I so, and they don't, you're absolutely right. people are blinded, you know, anyway, the, you, no, no, you're, my point's you got, over. You got it, man. So, um, yes. The last, go ahead. Given that opportunity to extend at this moment or be done right now, 90% of people. Would, yeah. 90 plus. I, I oh, definitely yeah, yeah. would be like, yeah, yeah. Give me another breath or a million or whatever. Yeah. Fucking weird, man. All right. The last point is. How does organized religion that we know today f fit into this? That is an excellent question. Um, well, there are people. Okay. You remember the show Altered Carbon? Yeah. There were a group of people who felt that when it's over, it's over to not extend the life. Correct. They weren't they some kind of religious sect that was like, I don't remember the show okay. that well, but, but basically they were, when they died, that was their only life. They okay. didn't, they weren't what we call sleeved, right? Or whatever that uploaded sure. thing. So that it was almost like an interesting thing. Cause we actually just talked about it a little bit is like, should we as sentient beings and spiritual beings, if we do think that the spiritual thing is a, a key component to our life, mm -hmm. the soul and whatnot, we should just allow whatever happens to happen. Like we can still take care of ourselves, whatever, but things end. Life ends. It is that time. That would be the, I think, the way. If you had some kind of faith in the 
whatever, you know, or some cult or whatever that you had at that point, that's what you probably believe, right? It's like, we should be done because that would be taking away God's power. And that's wrong. So the question is like, Sodom and Gomorrah is not an exact thing, but they were doing bad things, allegedly, right? In Sodom and Gomorrah. That, and God's not like, allegedly, tell them to stop. But that was the story of well, that's the, story. the Bible. Right, that's the story in the Bible. I say allegedly, it's a story in the Bible. Prove to me in a fucking court of law that that happened. Okay, great. You can't. Th yeah, you can't prove a negative or disprove a negative. So regardless, the Bible states that this these two cities were doing bad things and they told them not to. And then they turned them, God turned them into Saul when he turned away and all that shit, right? Yes. Okay, so... Using that is would the ability to upload a consciousness be a Sodom and Gomorrah like act that would require God to turn whoever created that technology or all of us into fucking pillars of salt or whatever? It was a pillars of salt. I don't. Remember. I don't remember. Something bad happened. I think to them. soy yeah. sauce for, oh, for, yes. for fucking wasabi or some shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> but mm. but um, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean by that? I like, do. Yes. So once again, do fire when we and play God. When we play God, does God intervene? Not anymore. Right. And Not for 2,000 years. That's even funnier about that. People would argue that. But it, oh, I yeah. wouldn't. People would. That's the problem with people. Uh, but to that end, we would then create. We would then be in direct uh, affront to God. Affront. So it's not one of the Ten Commandments. So thou shalt not make in my appearance. No idols before me. That's the one. The, the, the first thing false you said is idol. not a commandment. Right, right. It's false idols. Oh, you must take me above all. No. And no false idols. It's the Lord. The first one is the Lord. I am thy Lord. You should listen to me for everything. Second one's no false idols, I think. Third one's murder. You show. It's funny. I don't know. Regardless. So let's go. Basically, they would be, humans would be God. So what are you asking? Would that remove, would that destroy religious faith or would people with crazy fucking religious faith? Cause they still fucking have crazy religious faith now with all this age of whatever, they still have it. Would they fight it? Would they fight the upload process? What would the reactions be of the major faiths around the world? If this was a, if there was a store next to, in between Circle K and Verizon, there was an upload store. And you could go there and give them a $1,000 deposit so that when your Nana died, she would be uploaded. Meemaw. With fucking Meemaw. <laughs> oh, Nana. <laughs> oh, Nana. <laughs> Abuelita. Oh. So if there was an upload store, and, there's, and it's on tele... Upload, brought to you by Amazon. Yes. And that shit was on there. Yeah. How would the big... Christianity, Judaism, Mo I was going to say Mormon, but Muslim, sure. Hindu, sure. Buddhism, the big five religions around the sure. globe, okay. how would they react if this was a mass, a real thing? Right. If a, it was capable. Of if doing it was it. capable and proven right. and yes. nobody, and there was no accidents. There was no misfire And you can nothing, fucking yeah. go visit Mima virtually whenever you want it right and she's like oh sonny i had eggs benedict for breakfast and it was lovely thank you for my birthday whatever the fuck right and, it, and it's and it's affordable and it's a 300 a month to keep grandma alive forever yeah you know virtually live how would the five organized religions of the world today that could change it and i can you tell know, you exactly how would they please say. god gave us this gift to extend the human life in this way God, God, gave, God gave us the knowledge. Shut the fuck up. How else? Where else would they fuck? Where where else would they go with it? I don't know. Well, they didn't say fucking uh, Einstein's quantum theory of fucking, you know, whatever made it happen. Gave us a bomb? No, God gave us the knowledge to have this. If God didn't want us to have this, he would not have given us the ability to conceive such a notion. Right? Like, isn't, don't you think that would be their response? No. Why not? What what response other than that would there be? My, I'm sorry, I'm sounding really no, fucking argumentative. I'm, I love I'm it. I'm just really I'm high pitched. I oh my god, you guys! I'm scratching. <laughs> sorry, that's the theme of today. It's like the crossing particle streams. Oh shit! Of like the newest episode. I love it. I'm done. I'm, this is the last two that we're going to do this because it happens to be in the same day. But I fantastic. Okay, so 
Does that blow your mind that I would have totally said it? Totally blows my mind. What about that? So curious, what about that blows your mind that you didn't think of it that way? Not saying that's the right way to think. Because I all. thought for sure you would agree with me and you don't. Well, it's it's not that I don't agree with you. What would you okay, so tell me your reaction of the I, faith. I assumed for sure. It would do one of two things in my opinion. But. Well, yeah, there's one of two, and I thought the other one. Um uh, I thought for sure the organized re- religions would say this is wrong. This uh, is sacrilegious. You should die. That right. in, 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 in our belief system, you're born and you love God and God loves you, whichever one you want to worship. And then you die and you go to whatever heaven you want and you be with him, him, whether it's <laughs> Yahweh or Capital Jesus H. or right. the other guy or the other guy. And you or your 72 virgins or flying whatever you want. Spaghetti monsters. Yeah. Flying pasta jackass. So <laughs> this fake, the, the, the virtual fake, the virtual afterlife is literally fake. It is man-made. It's a server. It's a fucking, it's a fucking piece of hardware with f- c- chemicals and plastic and, and fiber optics and shit. It's fucking, it's literally fake. Would you call it a tool, though? To extend one's life. No. Much like a drill is fake, but it provides a purpose. No, I do not okay, consider, not, I, I understand your question. I'm not saying I'm I do right. not consider, I'm asking you. I do not consider course. the virtual afterlife a tool in, in any way, shape, or form. Okay. When it can, when it comes into consideration with the religions, I consider the virtual afterlife a direct contradiction to everything organized religion states. Organized religion states: you're born, you love God, you serve God, God protects you, which is a lie, and then you die and go to heaven with God if you're a good person. Right. And I think that the organized religions would be up in arms, and there would be mass protests and i say that because and this is where it's going to get tricky and i i can't i I hope this happens so bad because i'm going to sit on my couch with jim jack and jose and i'm going to watch it i'm going to be on the front lines of my couch watching it front lines me and the three amigos okay so the wise men i saw it all the wise men we're going to go religious let's go with the three wise men yes jim jack and jose jim jack and jose so jose aldo 80% 80% of Americans identify, them, identify themselves as Christian. That's that's fine. Cool. Yeah. However, if you identify yourself as Christian, you die and you go to heaven or hell or purgatory. That's the that's the fucking rule. I, don't don't I laugh. Know. No, I'm already thinking, but I'm stopping. That that's the fucking rule. Okay? So, if if, if 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 a human being comes along and contradicts that and you say, oh, hi, I'm Karen from Amazon Upload. You, for $700, you can die and go to a virtual afterlife. You and Mima and Nana and Uncle Teddy. Blah, 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 blah. That is a really good price. Hi. This month only $5.99. Amazon Prime membership only. So... I realize that we're plugging all these things that we kind of weirdly loathe. <laughs> Sorry. So, Sorry. Th- but the, the, that's, that, this is what I find massively interesting is that this is what I think is going to happen in my mind and may never fucking happen okay. is that 80% of Americans consider themselves Christian. Yeah. However, this upload thing, which may never actually happen. And this could be a dumb conversation. We do nothing but, and I love it. Okay. 80% of Americans think they're Christian and the upload thing and the Christianity thing in my mind completely contradict themselves. So I think the Christians, I really can't speak to the other religions because I'm not that familiar. I believe the Christians should fucking protest the upload. However, going back to I think the Catholics should, I don't think Christians should. Sure. Cause Catholics are pieces of shit that are fucking antiquated and stuck in fucking old shit that are not open mind enough to try to keep up. But and, go ahead. and the Mormons are and not, I'll explain, I'll explain it a different way, but okay, go ahead. Sure. We'll so, I don't think the Mormons. I think the Mormons would want to extend the life, to be honest, because they're very entrepreneurial. They're gonna. They're no, gonna, I'm just. I'm not kidding. I don't Mormonism think Mormonism in the virtual. I don't afterlife. think that they would see. 
personally, I don't think Mormons would see this as a, as a problem. They would just see it as the God thing because they're able to fucking talk themselves. Bro, some dude read invis invisible writing from shit du he dug up saying Jesus came to the United States, like to New York. I know. Let's not fucking kid ourselves about how delusional one can make oneself when need to. When need be. I, I, I know this. Sorry, please continue. The, the point is, <laughs> the point to my rambling is that. Uh, take the box. Take the soul oh, box away from me. Is that the the? I believe that the Christians w should protest the upload functionality. However, I don't think they will because their survival instinct will override their Christian belief because they don't want to die. They they're they're. I want to die and go to heaven and be with right. Jesus. Right. Oh wait, I I can live forever in a in a machine. Okay. I. That's what I think is going to happen. Well, it depends on the the level of the belief system that that person that each person has. Like, okay. let's be honest. You, well, let's not kid ourselves. It matters how fucking Christian you are. Of course, eighty percent of people who say they believe in that they're Christian doesn't mean that they are. Of course, in any way devout. Okay. And they, so they don't. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, of the eighty percent that identify themselves as Christian in the United States, what percent actually go to church every Sunday? Well, beyond that, though, it's not even about the rituals of what religion and faith bring. Is what parts of the Bible do you believe, and what parts don't you believe? True. Wouldn't yes, that? Sir. I mean, that would be the most. That would be the best way to tell your level of christianity do you believe that after three days a guy was dead and arose on his own and did this thing right like and it was the son of god from a virgin like many do people you believe do. this i'm not and i don't criticize people who do that's not my that's not my job my question is how many believe that part of it because i know a lot of christians christ is in the fucking religion who are who hem and haw about that just that one whether christ died and did all that thing but that's like the tenet of the fucking religion. Really? Yes. That seems weird. When held to the fire, and I've done it a few times, Twitter World. Can we get not, them on not, here? Not Ron and not Ron and Can Nicole. we get them on the podcast? Um, no, no, they'll hate me. When held to the fire about really did Jesus get strung up, die, physically come back to life? Was he the child of a virgin? Like... When you really hold some a human to that fire and hold them to a logic, ultimately it's hard to dilute yourself, right? Would you would you agree? If shown, you tell me again, no. you believe that a virgin gave birth to the son of God who was strung up and then killed and then brought back to life after three days and then went up to heaven? Like I'm just saying, like, when held to that, if you just said that story without it having a Christian connotation to it, right? It meaning something to your religion. Most people would be like, God, I don't believe that. Right? I wouldn't believe that. That doesn't seem logical. So I think in that respect. So, but you've got you've got the fucking brainwashed fuckers. And that's why I say Catholics, right? First of all, brainwash out the wazoo, really slow to change. I mean, they fucking killed Galileo for thinking the earth went around the goddamn sun. They fucking killed him. I know. For it. Like <sighs> so there's a couple ways to look at this. One is the thing I said, like they'll say, they'll make an excuse. I think the softer Christian religions will make the God gave us that ability to do it. And we're going to do it. In addition to that, it's just a copy of the human. It's not the soul. It's not. Okay. The soul's going to That's heaven. That's a good thing. I did not think of that. Right? Okay. The soul actually went to heaven. This okay. is just a copy. Okay. So they almost double down on what you think. That's that a respect. good point. Yeah, and that, I'm, I'm not saying that's the right point either. I'm just saying like, a hey, a copy point. is just a copy. Yeah, there's a way. I mean, look, we can kind of talk they ourselves got around, in and out. They of got anything. around it. They got around. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They okay. got around. Fuck, yeah. They got okay. around fucking slaves and whatever by, by Jesus making the statement that Rome does what it does and you do what you do. In the Bible, I know there's a, there's a verse in there that mm. says something, leave the something to Rome or whatever. Oh, it was like, oh, to Caesar. And, it, yes. Yes. And that is specifically saying, it almost separates church and state from it. Yes. In, its, yes, in, yes, in a yes. weird way. Give unto Caesar, which is just do to Caesar. Right. Yeah, right. And right, I right. believe it's my, I don't, I don't know, but I guess I want to do some research on that. But I wonder if our 
Declaration of Independence and all that was ba- the separation of church and state was from that statement in the Bible was a Judeo Christian statement that literally said we must keep these two things separate or that God said it or Jesus said it. So we must, that might, that might be why that isn't there. I'll do some research. Even though they have slaves. Yeah. But initially I Jefferson should... wrote shit about trying to get slaves out of that, but they couldn't do all. I'm not going to say they couldn't do it. Cause this, this is where I'm going to get myself in hot water. All right, but let's move along. No, no, real quick. It's fine. No, I want, I want myself on the record, sir. Cause this is what it's all about. Okay. Because I just, Jefferson had initial things about slavery being abolished because he obviously, he loved his slave. He loved one of the slaves. He had children with yeah, him, at right. least one. Yeah. Regardless of that, he wanted to put some provisions in there, but they didn't think they could get revolution and. Yeah, right. So they were like, well, let's take care of our freedom the first, then we'll take care of freedom for all. I know that sounds fucking... But it was white guys who fucking made it. So, like, what do you want fucking white guys to do? They're going to write about their shit. Like, they're the initiators of the fucking rebellion. They're going to write it their way. Yeah. I'm not agreeing with it. I'm that's just going to tell you that's, that's how it's Right. So that's what I think happened there. But that was a total Regardless. Aside. And ill. And ri. And guardless. All that shit. Um, so, yeah. So the Christian would say, yeah, it's not the soul. They could, they could justify that. Like... It's just my mem. It's really my memories uploaded, or m- the way to experience fake worlds. Like even then, like. But what about like hacking? I sure as fuck hope they protest, bro. Well, I God. there's a there's a percentage. Of, well, I don't mean I hope it's millions. Two percent. No man. Of the two percent of the reli- of the religious population. No, that's still like no. a shit ton of people. Man, how about Remember, like one percent of one percent is still seven hundred seventy thousand. How about like how about like forty eight percent, bro? How about like thirty four percent? Well, like all dressed up like the Pope and shit. Nah. How about like V for Vendetta up in there, dude. Oh, that'd be interesting. But no. Damn it. I know. I know you want this. I don't. I think protests <laughs> would not be on it. Honestly, like. The, Christianity has become very weird to me because it's my opinion. If you're going to call yourself an X, that you must believe all of the tenets within that. X. Right. We've had that. Because if you're not that, then you don't believe. I love people who are like, I'm Catholic except for the gay part. I'm Catholic, but I'm like, super gay. I'm totally cool with the like. No, I'm cool. Like my, I have a child who I have right. a child who's gay. Yeah. Well, then you're not Catholic, bro. I'm not. I don't care what you are, but you're not fucking Catholic. Right. Or whatever. Yeah, I understand. Sorry, Catholic people, for fucking shitting on you. It's um, poop, sir. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of all that, um, th- you're going to have those people. So they're going to be able to walk around, tiptoe around, extending life. Because it's, it's just a digital experience. It's not even your soul. That's where I think they go with it. Okay. Whew. Is there any more point on that? There's got to be one, some other thing. that On religion? About. In general. Uh, you brought up hacking. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What about what if someone hacked your virtual world and just made you a fucking Did hell? they give me bigger boobs or give me some hair? What if the religions took it further? Oh, shit. And they made a heaven and a hell. Yeah. And you committed in some kind of writing when you convert to a religion when you're baptized or oh. watered down or whatever the fuck you are whenever you're masturbated on the first time whenever, whenever I was masturbated on the first time yeah Kath, Kath no what the fuck I'm just saying I don't know what whatever whatever happens when you first do your religious shit I don't know which religion I don't know that did that. Did that I was like, mark? "What did that miss?" The was that mark? just in college I, that the was, first time when I was experimenting? So no, it wasn't you. It's when they did it on you. No, oh mind, yeah, bro. that oh, yeah, dude. Shit. when the dudes in the robes are jerking off on you, bro. That was oh crazy. yeah. Okay, now I understand. The first time you received yeah, when I when received I, holy water, the holy semen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The, the, oh, I totally fucked that up. And come that, on, you're can, when I didn't say it right and you say it differently, and then now now it just lost its all meaning. But yes, I'm slow. Shut up. It's not your fault. I miss. I did not communicate you, effectively. You blew the money shot. I did. <laughs> so, that was so, funny. What happens when you know you're 
at that point, you have to sign a contract. It's, and you can change it, obviously. Is it a virtual contract? No, it would be a real physical contract. Oh, in the real world. But at the end of your life, you're weighed and measured, and you get sent one of two places, one of the two places. And you don't have the fucking choice. It's up to the religion. That, and, and you that pick the wrong one? Apart. Well, no, you pick the religion, and you live your life, and they deem you worthy of heaven or hell. Oh, and they decide where you fucking go. Well, imagine that shit. It, I have so many Sam Kinison jokes in my head, bro. So, bro, do it. I, I haven't heard a Sam Kinison joke in like a week. Well, you know, <laughs> I've been married, so hell be like Club Med. <laughs> I get down there and, oh, you've been married? Uh, you want a job? <laughs> you see any single people coming down the hallway? Like to scare the shit out of them. <laughs> and it's then, uh, is Slayer playing Hell all the time? Like, is the Hell Awaits on repeat? I would... No, it's probably uh, elevator music. Would it be like uh, Barry Manilow? No, it's off-pitch elevator music. Oh, fuck. Of Klingon opera. Yes! Ooh. <laughs> Which is already off-pitch. Because it's Klingon. <laughs> Oh. I don't know um, any of the words, guys. I like no Yeah, I'm not down with that religious hell than hell shit. No, that would be weird. No, I'm just I would saying, not sign if, that contract. All right, but I would be like, fuck you. But what if that was your way around? It's like, hey, we everyone's got this upload thing. If you're devout to your religion, you have to No. If no, no, I know you don't. I'm just saying if that's what oh, yeah, if okay. you decide it's still choice, bro. They don't make you do it. You go to the church and go, I want to convert to X you know baptist christianity I, you know because i the first of all the five religion buddhism i wouldn't think it would and hinduism wouldn't even interfere with that shit and i don't think judaism would interfere with it either but i definitely know christianity and and muslim and islam would definitely interfere It'd be like well we have an islam heaven and an islam hell and we have a christian heaven christian hell you want to be a faith oh can you get like a virtual want? tour before you go no no virtual tour bro Fuck. you just you're just stuck, you can't like bro. go to Verizon and bro. put the goggles on and bro, you would that would spit in the face of faith. You need to have faith, bro. Uh, yeah. George Michael fucking nailed the <laughs> nailed the hit the nail on the head. The limp biscuit cover because you gotta kick ass. have faith, faith, faith. <sighs> Baby, I know you're asking me to stay. No, say please, please, please don't go away. Bye. Saying giving you the blues, heaven or hell, bro. I think he's directly talking about this podcast wake me up i'm gonna do a seance with george you... was he uploaded oh yeah oh sweet hard, I'll, hard. i'm gonna george michael please fucking would you do, would you be able to do like virtual ouija totally how fucking cool would that be like the yeah. ouija board like on a screen fuck no i don't know where are we at what else we got uh the final question oh my final question yes To check Mark. No. No. Check Mark. Go home. Okay. Bye bye, check Mark. Have a great vacation. Bye, everybody. Bye. So, uh, if this was a real thing, would you do it? I'd be sure as fuck curious. If I did it and didn't like it, could I no. pull the plug? Or are you stuck in there forever? <sighs> um,. Some, I was talking to somebody else about that because it's it's eternal, right? So somebody goes, also, somebody else goes, well, like it's eternal as long as your copy's in there. Yeah, right. Let's say, but let's say it's eternal. Let's say they, there's power forever. Right. Let's say the I earth doesn't that. explode, etc. So, but what somebody says, well, what happens if you're in there with your wife, and after like 200 years, you want to fucking kill her, you know? And I was like, that's a, that's a good fucking point. So what happens? You go to different virtual worlds. You can't kill. You, obviously, you can't kill something. That's well, happening. but would you like? <laughs> would there be an out clause that says, "Okay"? Well, you could. The world would be like a virtual world. So you would live. I would think you'd live the virtual world similar to how you live this. So you could get a divorce. Right. So you could get a. That's what XYZ. we talked about. So right. But my question is different than that. Mine okay. is: I don't like the experience. Get me the fuck out of this box. Because I think there's a commitment level that needs to be there, right? I, I well, don't think I, about like suicide. If you get a, if you choose to upload and then you want to cease, that's like suicide. And considering that suicide's illegal, I'm wondering if they would transpose physical suicide rules onto like a digital world. Like you can't die. 
you are eternally stuck as your as you know your digital copy forever wherever you go it doesn't matter but the point is you can't end it if you upload you cannot cease to exist you will always experience well seeing i, I don't like your question at all but i get that it's a shitty question it's a shitty ass but based upon the fact that on the dumb tv show they had that little rainbow tunnel thingy yeah and then you the, jump into it right? yes and yeah. then you're so i will allow your question that you can jump into the rainbow thingy where you can die okay then, Virtually then I then I'd uh, then I'd totally be into it because okay. I'd want to experience it to see if it's worth experiencing continually. See, that's the thing though. I, it's my opinion that you almost have to make it like yes or no, a one or a zero. You die, you die. Oh, great, great. But if you upload, your ass belongs to my. You know, your body may be in the <laughs> ground, but your ass belongs to me. Right? You see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yes, almost because you're almost signing away a right. Yeah, in a weird way. And not the user likeness and all that shit per se, but the T's and C's could be very long. Yeah. It's but a big to that, if you commit to doing it, you can't undo it. That That's where the decision would, that's where I think it matters. Because isn't infinity the same as the cessation of life? Isn't it like the same thing in my opinion? The fuck is cessation? Well, the ending. Oh, I didn't. I never heard the word before. Cease. It ceases. Cease. It ceases to exist. Like, I do know cease. Isn't death and infinity kind of the same concept? Like no, here you don't the continue. Opposite. Here I understand they're they're physically the opposite, but like <laughs> not dying doesn't sound like a fucking not dying sounds like living. It just doesn't sound like, but it doesn't doesn't sound like living because I know people who are living who are not living their life. Oh yes, right like. Are you alive or just breathing? Do you get bored? Do you get whatever? Uh, like, right, exactly. It's all that stuff. So I know that was a stupid thing I said, but no, it's I like it. No, I don't think you did. I'm going to argue with you about that one. I th I, I didn't like it. But I'm going to go, it. and you can argue with yourself. So would you do it? Fuck no. Never. Never. Not even to try it. No. To sir. know that you the next second that you after you experience it, you can stop it. N you no. can jump into that little tube. No. And be like, Absolutely not. Excellent. Is there a personal feeling on that? What's the yes. thought about? Okay, please. Uh, I believe that life is precious and finite, and we part of life is death, and that's what makes life important, and that's what makes life worth living, and that's what makes every moment important, and I'm lucky to be here with you, dude. I, I've known you for hmm. 20 whatever years. And this moment right here with you is important. And it's important because eventually I'm not going to be here anymore. And I'm grateful for every moment. And I, tr I forget that a lot. And I'm trying to remind myself of that, that dude, life is short. And, uh, but it's short now. Right. Doesn't need to be. But I think that's the point right. of yes. life. Knowing that it ends Correct. will should yes. should trigger you to be more purposeful with Correct. it with the finite time. Correct. But people aren't living their lives, bro. Well, that's I don't. I can do nothing about right. Anyone. You can only do about yours. Correct. Correct. So that's, that's my point. own issue and my own way of thinking is that I have to continually remind myself that it's important to live in the moment and be purposeful with that moment and be be present now yeah you know fuck what happened yesterday and fuck tomorrow i mean right I mean, don't totally fuck tomorrow like a little bit is that what's her name her name's tomorrow oh hey now hello you know these new kids with their young weird yeah, names their fucking weird names like all that shit so like Lindsay. <laughs> um <laughs> fuck that was too good that's in so a, there's no uh, hello Twitter world. that's an inside joke I hope that comes to fruition at some point but it probably me too won't. that would be so fucking beautiful so I would not because I think I don't I don't I mean I don't when it's my time to go it's my time to go and I've I've been very lucky with the experience I've had in my life and I've met some amazing people yourself included and I've been very lucky you're with, more amazing man thank you 
I've been very lucky of the places I've been and the experiences I've had. And yeah, some stuff sucked, but so what? Everyone's had stuff that sucked. Well, I'm no better. But, or But the stuff that sucked doesn't keep you... You're talking about continuing it. It's already happened. That's yeah, already yeah, happened fucking regardless. Fucking big fucking right? deal. That's and I try not to use that as a crutch, but yeah. I do sometimes and I try to get over that and I just try to make the best of it. And that's part of living and not fearing death. And you know what I mean? So, I fear death. Well, I'm not going to lie. Every, I, yeah, most people do. Well, how could you? Yeah. As, it's, as a sentient being, how the, could the end of you sound peaceful in any way? Right. And then we're other than when you're at the moment when you're, you and I have had those moments where, so no. we, where we thought it'd be cool to end it um i'm yes. not i'm not gonna upload nothing okay be so sad. to counter that yes sir you are retired i let's, would love to be retired. Let's, well let's be let's do a hypothetical sure. you're retired you're 80 and you're in a you're just wheelchair bound i'm and out and I, out. But you're not though. You're you're in you're in an old folks home. You're basically in an old folks home. You're I understand your purpose isn't there and you're just basically there to die. Yeah. What if that virtual world was just like that where you couldn't impact or have meaning the way, but you could experience more? Like I never for example, I've never had the chance to go to Egypt to see the pyramids. But imagine if there was a virtual identical set of pyramids you know tunnel every tunnel but you could actually go in it like you know you're not even allowed to go in this shit nowadays yeah, right yeah. you know what i'm saying like you could explore things you go underwater without having to breathe for example you could actually go and see and explore all the things you couldn't do you could see the titanic at the bottom of the ocean actually swim down there right because you, you're obviously not dying Are jack and rose digital there? just the diamond Jack, well, Jack, Jack's definitely there because that yeah. motherfucker's when dead. Seventeen Jack. days, seventeen hours. Um, but that's like but a lot imagine, of streams cross, bro. Imagine that experience that you can have in that way yeah. that you couldn't have in this world, regardless of your desire to find a purposeful to yeah. life. Yeah. How does that does that change anything for you? No. It could totally not. Okay. No. Cool. All right. But I also I totally asked way too long of a question. It was then. fantastic. There was no commas, semicolons, was like just bleh, zero punctuation. Bleh. But you also know, I mean, I believe we've had this conversation where I'm not going to get, I'm not going to allow myself to get to that 80 in the wheelchair. Yeah. If and when I approach that. I'm, I was trying to talk more. Hype, hype yeah. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Me and the three That's wise really men are going to take a walk in the that. forest. Fuck, I'm just taking Oxy and her friends. You know it. Fucking Oxy Clean, Oxy Codone, Clorox. <laughs> fucking name any kind of ox. Fucking, I'm gonna get run over by one. If All I can that find shit. one. All I'll, the lay field, I'll lie in a field, be like, Oxen, get the fuck over here. <laughs> Ill regardless. I'll get chicken pox. All the yeah, shit. Yeah, you know it. Don't you know? All the chicken poxes. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna be uploaded, sir. But I, I think it's I like a, it. the, the concept I find very interesting and and the idea that it's that it's a possible concept is fascinating. Striving to that end is a great human endeavor. Yeah. I just don't think we'll get there. But then again, if we really don't think we could ever get there, why are we why would why waste all this these resources on it now? I don't right? I don't think it's a waste. What if your goal right now, you're putting X amount of resources into uploading, but you'll never get there. You'll never get to it, but you always strive and you might make little technological advances, but they don't aid any other industry other than the upload industry, but you'll never get there. Why would I want those resources to be wasted on something that you'll never get to? If the other things you find along the way don't assist everything else. That's my, that's my question. Yeah. Or how do we know that AIs are not being built to figure out how to do upload? Yeah, that's. AIs aren't building AIs to build upload. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. And that's not, a, that's a real question. I'm not right. being a smart ass. Well, let's, let's use a, let's use a different movie, uh, Virtuosity. I don't remember that. That's uh, Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. Basically. They get plugged into a game, 
They create this psychopath, psychopathic, psychopathic character that's the digital equivalent of all the serial, the top twenty serial killer personalities. Oh, I need to watch that again. That's a fun one. It's, I just watched cool. it. Yeah, I watched it because we were getting into this one. Um, I thought I don't know if I put it on the list. I apologize if I didn't. Um, but basically, <sighs> it's like all these bad personalities, like you know Ted, Ted Bundy, Kaczynski, Dahmer into this one thing and that you know denzel washington plays this virtual reality game but then they create a biological body to upload that personality into so now you've got a hacker or some kind of created psychopath running the streets like you could do it reverse right that's kind of the ai version yeah versus the upload version yeah right? would would you allow would you allow people on death row to be uploaded would that would you make that illegal would you make it, you know what I mean? Like where, where do you draw lines yeah. on ethics on that too? And you know, there's there other things. people that are like, they have rights too. Right. They're human beings too. How could you let them die? Yep. They, he's a born again Christian. He yep. got his law degree, yep. even though he killed seven people. Right. You know, there's going to be some stupid ass shit. Right. And there's not a single fucking law. We're still trying to figure out if global warming's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Like, sir, our fucking last two podcasts have been a fucking about AI laws and whatever, how to fucking control it, corral it before it gets out of hand. Probably too late. Yeah, I was just going to say. And fucking upload laws. Like, and they're on, they're stuck on fossil fuels, my friends. These are the people that we fucking elect. Erect. God damn it. Son of a bitch. And I, just as an aside. Yeah. I was, wa I, we talked about earlier today, but I was watching part three. Uh, I'm down oh. three parts of four of the J E of Westworld. No, the J E thing on Netflix, the uh, documentary. I don't want to say the name of the person. I don't want to give that person yeah. any fucking anything. Pictures of him with two standing presidents, sir. There are two presidents pictures with him. It's going to be hard for me to watch, dude. These are our elected fucking officials, people. I'm going to... Thank I'm, you. I'm going to be half... An, I'm going to have to drink. Whole, I'm going to have to drink. I'm going to upload... I'm going to download. I'm just going to blow load. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, can I download and not upload? How can do I, I upload my download? How do, I, how, do we, how do I do that? Can I... Like, is there... Is that... Is that dirty talk? Is like, can I download into you? Oh, dear Jesus. I'm going to upload. Should we go if back... If she's on top, is it uploading? And if... Should we go back and get sex bots? No, I don't want sex bots. I've got a, I've got a real breathing human being that is a beautiful, beautiful woman, and she's very nice to me. I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna go get some sex bots. I will. I will help you buy some, and I will happily contribute to the sex bot fund. The Chris Peralta. <laughs> the Chris Peralta sex. Fund. Chris, hold on. Oh my God. Chris Peralta sucks. Sex bot fund dot org. Uh, is that is next that, to Boxer Love dot org? Um, what is that? Uh, is that GoFundMe? GoFundMe, yeah. GoFundMe go sex bot. I need a Kickstarter for my sex bot. <laughs> oh my God. I, I'd like to change the name to Love Bot for you. Okay. Because I feel like we all just want to be loved. Well, who doesn't? Yeah, exactly. I just think this shit's oh, hilarious. Man. It is. It's hey, I like your bot. sex bot. Uh, okay. Right, thanks. That show is um, so weird, dude. It's mine. Thank this you. This show is so weird. Which one? Real, real sex? It's better or? than me. Oh, I need to watch that the shit. The Russians. Now. Yeah, I got. Was that on the AI one? Or was that on this one? I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm so confused. But we're uh, we're gonna wrap it right up, bro. On. Holy shit, we are gonna fucking be dead on, sir. I'm gonna, wrap it I'm up, gonna, bro. You better okay. wrap that gavel up. So, sir. Yes. We talked about consciousness upload. Hit those topics that we talked about. That was on it. that list. There was no, a, I know. Just read them off again. Robert. There was only three, bro. Oh, never mind then. It was a short list. Well, I would like to thank you for joining us for two episodes, actually four episodes of Not Conscious, or twenty-three episodes, was, depending on how we do this. I love you. Chris loves you. Awesome. We love each other. Yes. But uh, thanks for listening. Knockedconscious.com, everybody. www.knockedconscious.com. Audio only podcasts starting July second. 2020. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Peace out. You just get weirder every episode. And you need a ukulele.
That was more banjo-y. You need a ukulele, sir. 